Hi, Steve Craig here. Elliott wave analysis is all about pattern recognition, right? And since the wave patterns identified by R and Elliott more than 80 years ago repeat themselves again and again and then merge to form larger versions of themselves, it expresses the fractal nature of the market. And recognizing the various wave patterns can give you a big edge when it comes to forecasting what's likely to come next. For example, in early October, we released a video where I discussed the importance of recognizing two common Elliott wave patterns that had formed on this crude oil chart. The first pattern was an impulse wave from last April's historic low through the end of August. It's easy to pick out the five distinct legs. The second pattern was the ending diagonal fifth wave. Ending diagonals are terminal patterns, as the name implies, and they're easy to spot from their distinctive wedge-shaped appearance. Both patterns convey a similar message, and that's that a price reversal is due, and it became obvious to all following crude 17% freefall in early September. I showed subscribers a similar version of this chart, and I alerted them to the potential for a sharp decline prior to the sell-off, but that's another story. The ending diagonal supports a second very important message, and that's a minimum price objective, which hadn't been fulfilled at the time of the video. Subscribers were well aware of it, and I pointed it out to viewers. Ending diagonals are almost always fully retraced, and that's exactly what transpired. In this instance, it meant that crude should extend its decline to the wave 4 low, the origin of ending diagonal wave 5, and it did so on November 2nd. That's powerful information to know in advance, and I mention it because natural gas sports a similar pattern, but in reverse. Here's the weekly chart. It's easy to spot the five distinct legs between the late 2018 peak and the 2020 low. When you connect trend lines between waves two and four and then waves one and three, the characteristic wedge-shaped appearance of an ending diagonal pops out and I alerted subscribers to the bullish potential prior to the bottoming process. The sharp upward reversal that followed is another key characteristic. This false price contango, which is common to see as natural gas moves into the high demand winter season, has magnified the extent of the advance on the continuation chart. It also masks the short term subdivisions. Even so, the big picture message from the ending diagonal is quite bullish. And just like crude, there's a strong possibility that the ending diagonal would be fully retraced, which means the opportunities should abound.